What what does that take? Like, do you feel that when you're in the NBA, your job is always like up for grabs, kind of, or no? I mean, you should. Yeah. First of all, I mean, mm. if you know, obviously, if you you're good enough, you put the work in. You're not thinking about that. Okay. But you do got to understand that this is a turnover league. They turn it over quickly. Yeah. Um. And so, man, like for me. I just, I, you know, you, you gotta be blessed with certain people in, in your journey, in your life. And I just had amazing coaches. And, and in a sense that they were tough on me. Like they were tougher on me than I feel like they were any of my teammates. And it started with my father, my first coach. My high school coach was an asshole. My college coach. <laughs> straight, <laughs> my, straight asshole, straight let's get asshole. to it, straight I asshole. Love you, I love you, Jack. But you was an asshole, okay, go ahead. My cool. college coach, Tom Crean. Uh, mm -hmm. All these guys were like, they were amazing with me, but they also, they didn't they didn't allow me to put my head down. They didn't allow me to not bring my best. Okay. And, one, and another thing they didn't allow me to do, they didn't allow me to be one dimensional. They would not let me be one dimensional. They didn't, my dad didn't care if I scored 30 points. Where your assists, where your rebounds, where your steals, where your, what did you do to make everybody else better? And so I grew up like with coaches instilling that in me. And so once I got to the league and, and everything came together, my body, my speed, my athleticism, yeah. my mind, everything just came together when I reached about, probably about 23, 22, 23, definitely at 24, but about 22, 23, I started to like, everything started to slow down. In your understanding. Yeah, I stopped watching film, just watching myself. I started watching. Like, uh, I just started, <laughs> let me learn other people. Yeah, I know what I do. Let me learn. Let me. And so I started, like, it just came together. When it came together, man, it was at it was at the right city. Mm -hmm. I mean, Miami, Miami became explosive. Oh, my god! Shaquille O'Neal came down. Big Shaq oh came down gosh. in my second year. What? Turned it all back the way up. Back to back. Boom. Bow. <laughs> like, and, it, and here's another thing that I was going to tell you that I want to give you flowers about here on Top Billing is how every time you got a new team, teammate, you were able to figure them out, yes, figure out how to make it complement your game. And I remember watching you figure out not only, not only Shaq, where he wants the ball and this, that, and the other, when to go, when not to go. Even with LeBron, it's like I seen you, you running the point and you like, okay, what, what spots Brian wanna add at? Boom, boom, I'm gonna go right now. And then, or I'm, you know, I'm gonna be a diversion. Like, bro, that takes a lot of IQ and sacrifice. You're yeah. a superstar too, but you got, you got help now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just, I, I'm a basketball player. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think some people are scores. Some people are passers. Some we all have. I'm a basketball player. Like put me out there. I'm a. I'm gonna figure it out. That was my whole life. Before okay. I wasn't always tall. Into my junior in high school, I was about five eight, five seven, five eight. So to get it, to get on the court, I had to go get it. Yeah. And so whatever that means, and that's how I played the game of basketball. Now at some point, I became the guy that got the ball all the time, and I got the, all the pick and rolls, and I could shoot whenever I want. That was amazing. Yeah. That's, that was that was incredible. Guys. That's like, the, you, the freedom you, in boy, that. When you have the ball Ooh. and you ain't got to wait on nobody. Oh, freedom. Oh, look at God. Won't he do it? That oh, is the best feeling for a guard. Because you because you because you don't have to feel you know. Um, antsy or you don't have to make poor you choices you, you can let it come you to you because yeah you, you can relax yeah. but like i never when i grew up i never played with a center like shaq i didn't know how to play with a guy like that necessarily i never played with a dynamic guard like lebron i didn't know how to play with them those guys so what i had to do is i had to go watch how to play with those guys correct kobe bryant penny hardaway they gave me the blueprint watch their blueprint you know what i'm saying like that's all i did lebron i just like okay he's me on the other side and he's bigger he's this and that but we're the same what would you want? 